let's talk about this desk. You've got to start with the customer experience and work backwards for the technology. Flashback. Before we get into the review, I thought I'd share some of what's in the box and some of the build using some cool B-roll. So enjoy. Once we get the legs on, it's on and popping. Because after that, we just attaching that thing to the desk, attaching the keyboard thing on, and then all the little stuff. All right, let's get it. So the instruction book, I'm gonna be real, it's real easy to follow despite having no words it's all pictures but they do make it easy and so now let's get the back of the desk on For the sake of time, I'm gonna go ahead and jump straight to the desk being finished and just stop recording so much as I'm building, so. End of flashback. What you just saw was the first time I built today. So that was a brand new experience, fresh in the house. But for starters, the entire top of this thing is a mouse pad. And that's real nice. And underneath this giant mouse pad is a wooden desk with this carbon fiber finish. Unlike really any desk I've had, this one holds super sturdy. Even regardless of all the weight it's taken on, a lot of that weight's being taken by the risers. And it's a pretty big desk. It's a 72 inches wide, 30 inches deep. Speaking of desk size, I got pretty lucky here. So I have a 43 inch monitor that fits exactly between the risers. And so if you're wondering what your max is, if you're over the top like I am, your max is 43 inches. You, you can arguably just mount it behind the desk, but then again, you run the risk of your risers, you know, obscuring the view of the monitor a bit. And uh, beneath the risers are some LED lights, but <clears throat> in a dim environment, if you don't have accessories like the BenQ lighting or the, you know, one of these things that, in which, that eliminates your desk already, this actually adds a nice, it, it's a nice spread. If you're one to display collectibles, if you have some small statues, some pops, the LED lights actually provide a nice little display, like spotlight for them. It's pretty cool. Depending on the mood you're in, you can cycle through these colors. You can't have each side be a different color because there's only one control that's on this riser. Also on this riser, is some cable management. Um, well, that's at least where I put it. I may, I actually haven't used that yet. It's one, it, the desk came with that. I haven't found a reason to really use it, but it's nice to have and it's adhesive. You could have stuck it anywhere. And of the many reasons I love this desk, a big selling point was the fact that it comes with its own cobbler management. Behind, on the back of the desk is a giant, like it's like a big back. It's not the cobbler management I was talking about it comes with, but it does play a role because all the cobblers behind here do run down like this beam that you can maybe see right here. Then you can just drop them on the back of the desk behind the metal bars and more back to the desk, all these clips where you can tuck and hide your cobblers. And in addition to those are these trays that are kind of flush on the desk uh, where you can tuck your cobblers. And if you take pics of your setup or what have you, um, it's, out of sight, there's really no angle you can take on where you'd see that. But uh, after building it the second time, I got my own management, took it in my own hands, but I still use Eureka Ergonomics Management alongside 
what I've purchased, and also I have a lot of on this desk. You can get away with hiding all your cobblers with what's included with the desk itself. You don't need anything extra, which is, like I said, very nice. When you pull this out, it can literally articulate whichever way and direction and like you want. Like it's, it can go, it's like a expensive action figure, man. Something off of Hot Toys. This thing can articulate everywhere. Super useful. And then you can simply just hide it. And there's also a cushy, like, wrist rest is that the name for it like uh, attached to it oh and you probably saw yourself but the keyboard tray is also a giant dinosaur. and then i have to get the two real mvps at this desk they're super clutch i use them every day and we'll start with that cup holder that my phone is in ain't much to say about that it's a cup holder um but even bigger than that are these headphone holders there's two of them and I put two headphones on these, so I can put four headphones, two pairs of headphones on these clips. If the headphones have cables, I just wrap them around the hooks themselves. Uh, and yeah, you have four organized, put away headphones. Returning back up to the top of the desk, um, I forgot to mention these two mobile device slots, um, which for me have become convenient places to tuck away smaller, very useful cables and evidently tuck away some AAA batteries that may or may not work. And I also keep my um, headphone mics there periodically. Hold on. Uh-huh. Pretty nice, huh? All right, I'm gonna put this back. My notes are on. Eureka Gaming, thanks so much for this. This was the most clutch thing that happened to me all 2021 they were like the second or third brand to reach out to me and they sent me a desk and that's dope so thank you um this review though was genuine they only sent this to me to post on instagram i liked the desk enough to where i began shooting a full-blown youtube review of it also shout out to great underscore white underscore 7.3 who through youtube comments nudged me to get this video out um, I have kind of been sitting on this footage in lieu of other projects and life happening. Great white things. This is exactly why you engage on YouTube. It's to let creators know, you know, what you want to see. What do you want to see made? With that said, let me know what else y'all want me to hop on here and run my mouth about. In the meantime, come join me on the gram. Peace. Mm -hmm.